This might be an extremely hot take, but I think the F111F and F111C are some of the most useless vehicles in War Thunder. And before I get into why I think it's useless, the F111F is like the American version and it's really good at striking ground, or at least it's supposed to be very good. And the F111C is the Australian variant or the British variant, and it's better at air to air, but it's still kind of bad at ground. Originally, the F111Fs were used during Desert Storm and completed 3.2 successful strike missions for every one unsuccessful one. This made it one of the best strike aircraft in the world that the US used. In War Thunder though, it's just one of the worst in the game. You're flying a really large aircraft that's kind of slow, kind of clunky with a big radar cross section against vehicles like the Edo and the Pantsir. Sure, with six Mavericks, you can take out some enemy vehicles, but for the most part, if the SPAA is active on the enemy team, most of your Mavericks won't land. And meanwhile, the F111C was touted as one of the best fighters in the world just purely because of its speed, and it is really fast in War Thunder, but because of the way BR ratings are set up and they're not historically accurate, you're facing vehicles that can easily catch up to you. You could play it right and you could missile spam with the C's 4 AM 9 L's and the F6 AM 9 L's, but that only goes so far. But the reason why I think these are useless, not because they're like bad or mediocre or something like that, it's because there's always better options in the tech tree. 